Hello, on Twitter the question came up, is it possible to make an input save as new thing the first time it's used and then every time after that make changes to that thing? Yes, it's possible. We check a bubble app I just made where people upload images and then people like me can review the images and say, for example, great image and it's 10 out of 10. And when I reload the page, however, I want to still see the 10 out of 10 and great image, sir. I might also want to amend it and, for example, add capitalization and punctuation. So how would I do this? From the database view, we have images people upload with a field image and image reviews. So each image review has an image associated with it, a rating number, 5 out of 10, and a rating text, great job, sir or madam. Then we have an outer group here, which just shows the first image in the database, such as the Canada image I showed you here. Parent groups, images, image. And now whenever we change the slider or multi-line, we want Bubble to check, does an image review from me for this image already exist? If yes, then change that and display it. And if not, then create that, please. So to do that, we go over to Workflows, click the empty box, click when an input's value is changed. Let's start with the slider. So if it already exists, we want to amend it. So we search for the existing one by searching for all image reviews which are created by me and which have as the image associated the parent group's image, Canada image, and then we want to take the first item out of the search because it should be unique how we set things up. And what we want to update is the rating number to be that of the slider. So if I change the slider from three to five, the five is changed. But we only want to do this if we've already got a review. So when the first item of the search is not empty. In the other case where no review exists yet from me for this image, we want to create the review using create a new image review with the image of the parent group, the rating number of the slider input value, and the conditional first item is empty, so when no review yet exists. Then we copy this entire box workflow, paste it here, this time for the multi-line, making the slider minimum that we want to this time out of the rating text instead of the rating number. Now one thing is still missing when I reload the page, I want to see the existing review, so the 10 out of 10. To do that, we go to conditional of the slider and we add when the first item is not empty as initial content, we want the first item's rating number. We copy the entire conditional, add it to the multi-line, and again, when we've already got a review with this user, me, and that image, then please show me of that search the first item's rating text. And let's give it a try here. So there was no workflow here yet, so we shouldn't see anything yet. Then we change it to 10 out of 10, create image, sir. Then we reload the page and it should still be 10 out of 10 in great image, sir. Then we can add punctuation to accentuate that we love this image. And then it should be here. We can even do that for a repeating group. Just change the page in this case to column. Then we take this group here and we right click it, group it in a row container. Then we make this row by clicking replace a repeating group. Then we've got the repeating group. We want the repeating group this time to not show just the one image in the database, but to just take all images in the database. I've just added five by my own or four, I can't remember. And then this group, which is one cell of the repeating group, we don't want it to show the first item of the search of all images, but we just want this current cell's image. So the first image, second image, third image. And then when we refresh the page, this should still be the first image and we should still show the rating of that. Great image, so 10 out of 10. And here when we do three, and here when we do five, and here when we leave it, when we now refresh the page, it should work. And we can even go and use it as another user. And then we should see that it's all empty because that user has not yet actually reviewed any of the images. But if they do choose to review any of the images and reload the page, we should see that updated accordingly.
and then of course the other reviews should not update because they're by a different user. Grid image 0.3.5 still exists, so it works. Hope that helps. Cheers.